I'm Brenda Kahari. I am a Pagala Zimbabwe member. I worked with the law firm of B.W. Kahari. Just to give you a little bit of information on advertising law in Zimbabwe, there are a number of uh, various statute laws in Zimbabwe that relates to advertising, but there's no specific act. We are uh, therefore a self-regulatory uh, state. In other words, we rely upon various uh, private organizations to ensure that regulations are complied with. Um, perhaps one of the most important and profound effects on advertising in Zimbabwe was the fact that about five years ago, because of the economic crisis in the country, the, uh, the Zimbabwe government literally abolished the Zimbabwe dollar and is now using the U.S. dollar currency. As a result of that, we now have what we would say is uh, economic stability, and we are in fact seeing more and more competition resulting in more advertising, especially by foreigners within Zimbabwe. So if you are interested in coming into Zimbabwe, I would think the best thing for you to do is to perhaps get clearance, especially with what I would call the, the PRs, that is p politics, race, religion, sex. These all have uh, very serious consequences if they are not uh, perceived correctly because of the cultural environment and perhaps even the history of the country. So the best thing would be perhaps to go to an established advertising media firm, but also you may need to get legal clearance.